We are still working our way into the new year, and for readers, there are a lot of intriguing books to dive into in 2024. Yeah, one of our favorites, Ratio Greenhouse from Beacon Hill Books and Cafe, joining us again. Thank you so much for coming back on. Uh, tell us a little bit about Beacon Hill Books and Cafe. So we are a small but, I would say, beautiful um, little bookshop uh, located in the heart of Boston, um, in obviously the um, Beacon Hill area. And we've got such an exciting year coming up. Um, you know, we've got a fabulous schedule of events, some great books coming up. And, you know, in the interest of um, your good folks at home, I've been reined in a little, otherwise I might get too excited. <laughs> but I thought I would do, you know, a little quick whistle-stop tour of, you know, even some of the books that didn't make it in uh, this year, which is how excited I am about it. So, you know, a fabulous new book by Amor Towles coming out of Gentleman Moscow fame. And, you know, all sorts of things like that. Rachel Kushner and even the inimitable wielder of my darling clove, Mira Soda. Um, so, so much to look forward to. Let's start with the thriller for the first half of the year. You have this mystery thriller you mm. want to recommend. What's that? Indeed. Um, so it's The Rabbit Hole. And it's a fabulous sort of tale about a woman who loses her sister under mysterious circumstances and, well, falls into a rabbit hole of internet sleuthing and conspiracy. So it's got twists and turns and a bit of bite and is just a great thriller to start the year with. Debut author as well. Sounds like it's right up Kate's alley. I love it. I love uh, it. What do we have? There's something coming out at the end of the month. It's a follow-up to a popular debut novel. Tell us about that. Indeed it is. So it's sort of um, a sharply written coming-of-age story and it's set on a campus in the University of Arkansas. So it's a mix of students and their faculty and gets into a bit of the hijinks. It's a bit more, I would say, character-driven than plot-driven, um, but sort of really sharply written, um, you know, darkly funny, and it is an absolute page-turner. It's a great winter read just to settle into. And how about this journalistic work about the war in Iraq? This sounds intriguing. It is. Well, I, you know, I'm something of a sort of national security interest sort of person, so uh, this one always piques my interest when this subject comes up. So it's a bit about, it's a sort of t trying to tell the whole story of the involvement of um, the United States in Iraq, or then more specifically Saddam Hussein, the sort of the tangled relationship there. So it's based on new reporting, some new sources, even some of Saddam Hussein's own documents, oh, wow. and sort of kind of digs into it to uncover, you know, quite why, you know, we got into this modern Mesopotamian quagmire. <laughs> and then the oh. next is the one of the most anticipated of the year. Tell us about this. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I have to be honest. This is the book I'm the most excited about. It's um, a retelling of Huckleberry Finn by the sublime Percival Everett. And I will admit to the group here that I have not yet read Huckleberry Finn. Oh, wow. Um, but, wow. you know, it's shameful, I know, I know. Um, but I, will, I have got a copy and I will be reading it right before this comes up. I'm so, so, so excited. I've read some great excerpts. It's had some amazing advanced reviews. So, so what's it called, James? James, my personal oh, wow. yeah. Okay. So sort of settle in for, you know, his heady mix of satire, humour and the surreal. It's unbelievably excited about that one. All right, go to Beacon Hill Books and Cafe to buy your books. We'd love to buy the books local at mm. your local shops so we can keep them here. But Horatio, thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much for having me. Always good to see you.